Hello everyone. This is Somesha from MATLAB Helper and today we are going to look at a very interesting topic on gravitational force interaction in MATLAB. Sir Isaac Newton, a name eternally famous in the physics community for his remarkable contributions in the formulation of the theory of gravitation. I guess you are already familiar with the famous story of an apple falling on Newton's head and causing him the initiation of the thinking process of questioning the fall. He thought, if an apple can fall to the surface of the earth, will the moon do the same one day? This very question led to the discovery of the monumental force of gravitation in his time. While some believe that the story was fabricated so that the general public can understand this complex thought, but we are not here to delve into that. The gravitational force is one of the oldest forces that has been discovered by physicists and is still baffling on some levels. Sir Isaac Newton was the first to define the force mathematically and he presented an analytical relation between the magnitude of the force and the masses interacting along with the distance of separation between them. The equation as it stands is f is equal to g m1 m2 by r square. As a piece of additional information, the inverse square law in the denominator is another descriptor of the nature of our universe. The denominator indicates that we live in a three-dimensional universe rather than any other. Unraveling the gravitational interaction between many masses can be quite enigmatic. But we can start off with the simplest two-body interaction. Let us assume a situation where we observe the gravitational interaction between an object of 10 kg mass fixed in spatial coordinates and another mass gravitationally interacting with the fixed object in free space in its gravitational field devoid of any other influence. While the formula is descriptive enough for the calculations, it cannot be used for simulating the scenario directly. The formula must be converted into an ordinary differential equation describing the initial conditions. The same equation in ODE format looks like this. Notice the second order differential term in the equation denoting the acceleration is equal to negative g. Let's look at the MATLAB code now. Let's run this code first and then we will discuss the functioning. The first graph shows the increasing distance over time between the fixed object and the object in motion. Let's run the next part. This animation shows the real life progression of motion in free space. However, let me clarify that the animation speed is accelerated to a great extent. I hope the animation matches the former graph in terms of the acceleration it predicted. Now let's come back to the code. The general declarations go by the scenario we assumed. The value of capital G is a constant as we are already aware of the fact. We observe the interaction for a total amount of 1 lakh seconds. That's quite a lot of time. As we witnessed the result of the simulation, it took around a whole day to cover a distance of 1 meter only through gravitational force of attraction. That's why it is considered the weakest among all others. However, we see the boundary conditions of the object while we integrate the differential equation. As we decided, the initial coordinate of the object is 1 meter away from the origin and no motion initially. That's what the statements refer to. The ODE45 is a special ODE solver employing the Runge Kata method as its governing algorithm. The ODE45 function calculates the next point in the resultant sequence with the var function linked to it. Presenting the two ODEs after calculating the variable distance from the fixed point. Runge Kata methods propagate a solution over an interval by combining the information from several Euler steps each involving one evaluation of the right hand function and then using the information obtained to match a Taylor series expansion up to some IR. These are many versions of the Runge Kata method but the most used version is the classical fourth order Runge Kata formula as shown. The fourth order Runge Kata method requires four evaluations of the right hand side per step as shown in the following figure. 
Simulating a free fall on earth is not as complex as the previous one. In this scenario, the change in the value of small g, acceleration due to gravity can be taken as a constant throughout the process, simplifying the process. With the same OD in hand, we simulate a condition where a ball is set to free fall from a height of 100 meter. And upon each impact, the ball loses 20% of the impact velocity due to inelastic collision. We try to render the animation till the max height reduces to only 5 meters. And here is the MATLAB code. The code uses the desolve function to arrive at a solution. Using the general laws of motion, we determine the impact velocity and time of flight for our case and plot the corresponding value of y coordinate substituting the value of t as a continuous progression. At the end of the loop, the new initial conditions are used to predict the next bounds and that continues till our criteria holds true. Let's run it. The animation looks very realistic in terms of the trajectory a normal ball may take. Keep in mind that the delay in each successive bounce is because of the time taken to calculate the path for the next bounce and nothing else. This case didn't use the numerical OD solver and instead uses a symbolic version where only two variables are in consideration. The height is progressing over time and that's what the OD solver tries to describe with the help of an equation. We have arrived at the end of the video and with that we have particularly seen two methods for solving ordinary differential equations. Both can be used based on the cases. Go and try out some more cases exploiting ODEs to solve the nature. Do like this video if you found it helpful. If you have any questions, post them in the comments or get in touch with us. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Education is our future. MATLAB is our feature. Happy MATLABing!